Welcome to episode four of module eight, non-infectious diseases and disorders. Look at inquiry question two, do non-infectious diseases cause more deaths than infectious diseases? Our syllabus reference for this video will look at the cause and effects of non-infectious diseases, including genetic, diseases caused by environmental exposure, nutritional diseases, and cancer. Our learning intentions for this video will outline the cause and effect of non-infectious diseases including genetic, nutritional, environmental, and cancer. Non-infectious diseases are referred to as non-communicable. This means they are not caused by a pathogen and you cannot catch the disease from someone. Factors such as age, gender, economic, social conditions, culture, race, lifestyle, environment, genetics, and nutrition can play a part in an individual acquiring a non-infectious disease. The top five leading causes of disease in Australia since 1968 include ischemic heart disease, dementia, including Alzheimer's, chronic lower respiratory diseases, cerebrovascular diseases such as strokes and cancer involving the trachea, bronchus and lungs. By studying how factors can lead to developing a non-infectious disease, we can better understand where and how to intervene genetic diseases and disorders. Genetic diseases are inherited medical conditions caused by a mutation at the DNA level or chromosomal level. Inheritance patterns of these diseases can be classified as autosomal or sex linked and inherited in a dominant or recessive manner. Genetic diseases caused by a faulty gene are caused by a mutation at the DNA level. It's important to know that not all mutations are a disadvantage. Some mutations can provide an advantage to an organism. Gene mutations can be expressed dominantly, for example, Huntington's disease. If one parent has a copy of the mutated allele, this will be passed on to their offspring. On the other hand, recessive genetic diseases such as cystic fibrosis require two copies of the mutated allele to pass on to offspring. Sex-linked genetic diseases are ones that occur on a sex chromosome. In humans, we have 46 chromosomes. Specifically, chromosomes 45 and 46 determine our gender. Females are XX and males are XY. Genetic diseases that are sex-linked, such as colour blindness, tend to affect males more commonly. Within genes, there are sections that code for the production of proteins, for example, an enzyme. Genetic diseases that affect the gene can have an impact on how a protein may be formed, leading to difficulties in the organism's metabolic function. For example, a mutation to the lactase enzyme will result in an individual developing a form of lactose intolerance. Genetic diseases can also affect segments or the number of chromosomes. The term aneuploidy is used to refer to an abnormal number of chromosomes. Trisomy 21, commonly known as Down syndrome, has three chromosomes of chromosome 21 and is the result of non-disjunction. Non-disjunction occurs during anaphase 2 of meiosis where the chromosomes are not separated. When the chromosomes are randomly segregated into the four non-identical daughter cells, one cell will have 22 chromosomes while the other will have 24. For a person with an aneuploidy disorder, this could mean a total of 45 or 47 chromosomes. The segments of chromosomes can also be affected. Cruel de Chartres syndrome is caused by the deletion of a segment on chromosome 5. Nutritional diseases and disorders. Nutritional diseases are caused by diets lacking in the proper balance and the amount of nutrients. Imbalances lead to a condition called malnutrition and there are two broad categories, undernutrition and overnutrition. Diseases that are caused by lack of protein or energy enriched food often occur in developing countries where food is often in short supply. Many individuals, especially children, suffer from a disease called kwashiorkor. This is caused by severe lack of protein in the diet. Diseases that are caused by lack of vitamins, such as scurvy, is the result of a deficiency in vitamin C present in the diet. This can lead to joint pains, bleeding gums, and poor wound healing. Lack of minerals, for example, iron, 
A deficiency in iron will lead to anemia. Symptoms can include pale skin, weakness and unusual tiredness. Severe undernutrition, including anorexia and bulimia, often have an underlying psychological basis to them. These causes are vary from person to person and could be influenced by genetic predispositions and a combination of environmental, social and cultural factors. The most common type of overnutrition is obesity. Obesity can have a number of adverse health effects on an individual, such as high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, stroke and atherosclerosis. Diseases and disorders affected by environmental exposure. Non-infectious diseases caused by environmental exposure can be caused by lifestyle, physical factors or exposure to chemicals. Let's look at them in more detail. An environmental disease caused by lifestyle factors are caused by the way in which an individual lives their lives. The use of tobacco, unhealthy diets, lack of physical activity and substance abuse are major risk factors. Common lifestyle diseases include cardiovascular disease, diabetes, cancers and chronic lung disease. Physical factors such as high exposure to UV radiation could lead to the development of skin cancer. Excessive exposure to UV light can cause changes in the DNA of skin cells that can lead to the formation of basal cell carcinomas, squamous cell carcinomas and melanoma. In 2002, it was estimated that almost 18,000 Australians were diagnosed with melanoma. Exposure to the vast array of chemicals found in the environment can lead to disease. The type of disease and the period of exposure necessary will vary depending on the chemical. Many factors can cause the disease, such as homes being built on previously polluted land, toxic discharges into the atmosphere and water, waste from industrial processes, or exposure to chemicals in the workplace. Asbestos is a chemical that historically was present in many products in common use. It is now known that exposure to even a small amount may lead to developing an asbestos related disease such as lung cancer. Cancer diseases. Cancer is a disease of the cells of the body. Abnormal cells divide in an uncontrolled way and these cells can invade body tissue near them, spread to other tissues and disrupt normal functioning of the body. Mutagens are biological, chemical or physical agents that cause mutations. Mutations in genes that control cell division, such as DNA repair genes and tumour suppressor genes, will lead to the development of cancer. Benign tumours are not classed as cancer, however they can be precancerous if not treated and may lead to cancer. Malignant tumours contain abnormal cancerous cells that replicate quickly and uncontrollably, causing nutrients that are essential to cells to be redirected and lead to the invasion of surrounding tissue. Risk factors such as smoking, lack of physical activity, exposure to UV radiation, particular viruses, exposure to chemicals such as asbestos, genetic factors such as the inheritance of a mutated gene, all play a role in how a cancer can develop. And that is the end of episode four. Thank you for watching.